Hi guys, welcome. Today we are going to discuss about abstract class. So what's a class? So basically a class is a template which we use to create real-time entities called objects. This we have discussed earlier. But today we are going to discuss about a special kind of class called abstract class. Okay, what's an abstract class? So it's a class it's basically a class it's a class that can have concrete method as well as um, abstract methods now you would ask me this question what's a concrete method what's a abstract method so a concrete method is a method it's a method that has an implementation okay concrete method is a method that has an implementation and an abstract method on the other hand is a method that has no implementation I mean it's just a definition inside a class okay this kind of method just has a definition inside a class okay so let's go ahead and kind of create a class okay so here I'm going to create a class called animal class okay this is my class called the name of the class is animal class okay and in the public section I'm going to create a method called sleep okay this is a method so if I check the syntax now I'll get a syntax error because why because this method sleep is defined but it is not implemented yet so it the the syntax in the syntax check it's asking me to actually implement this method so what I do usually what we do is we create an implementation for the method in the class implementation okay this is the usual procedure that we follow and we write something like okay so this is a common functionality if you if you see here for any animal class a sleep would be a a, a, a a thing that every animal does okay it's a process which every animal goes through so uh, so this is why I have defined it as a method that has an implementation this is a functionality which every animal will be uh, associated with all right so this method I have implemented okay so this is a concrete method so you can call it as a concrete method why because it has an implementation I have implemented this method here okay now now I'll, I'll also show you how to create the object for this start of selection I'm going to create a new animal all right and I can say a1 sleep okay if I check the syntax activate and execute this I'll get sleep okay because the animal I've created the object and I'm just calling the method sleep here okay so it will it will actually trigger this implementation of the sleep method okay now now let me have another method inside this class which is called make sound okay so I have defined a method called make sound inside the animal class so this method here the important thing to notice here is that every animal if I create a subclass for this animal class every animal that inherits from this base class this base animal class will make different sounds right suppose I'm going to inherit uh, what I mean, uh, what I wanted to tell you is that I'll, I'll just create a subclass called a cat class. Okay, this is how you actually inherit from a super class. Okay, so I'll say animal. So here I have a cat class. I have a cat class that is actually inheriting from the animal base class. Okay, and I'll have a public section for now. Uh, I'm not defining anything now. I'll check the syntax. It says make sound is not implemented. Why? Because I'm not provided any implementation now. I'll just 
not implemented okay so now i have a cat class that is inheriting from the animal class okay so this cat will sleep right because it's an animal and this animal has a sleep method okay i have inherited so this method sleep will actually be automatically be associated with this cat class so if i create if i create uh, an object for a cat class if i say c1 sleep get this sleep because why because it's implemented in my super class right it is implemented in my super class so this is a common functionality across the subclasses okay well, I, I don't need to actually change this because every i'll i'll just say z okay because this is how every animal sleeps let us consider it like that that is assume every animal is sleeping like this okay in the same way so this is a common functionality that will be actually associated with the super class and all the subclasses that inherits from them from it okay so this is a common functionality so that is why i have implemented it now the make sound method watch out for this make sound method this method is actually going to change in each of the subclasses suppose this cat actually uh, makes sound like meow okay meow that is how the way the cat makes sound right so uh, this is different a dog barks so it it's it's different for each animal so what i am going to do here is i'm just going to demonstrate how an abstract class works okay so for this i'm just taking this as an example okay so this you can you can create your own examples but for for me to make you understand i'm just trying to actually take this as a simple example all right so i have a method called make sound so if i actually go to the subclass okay if if i check the syntax now it will ask me to implement this make sound but i don't want to implement this make sound why because i'm not sure about w what each animal which inherits from this animal class what kind of sound it makes i don't know it's up to the subclasses it's up to the cat class actually here to actually implement this method okay so the super class i will not provide any implementation all right for the for the method make sound i am not going to provide any implementation because i don't know at the time of designing this animal class i am not sure i am not really sure how to implement this method so i leave it up to the uh, subclasses to make implementation for this method okay this is a very clear uh, thing which you have to understand all right so this method i will not define in my super class i leave it to the subclasses to implement it okay so for that what i will do here is i'll create this method as abstract why because i'm not going to actually provide any implementation that's that's what i told here a method which will have no implementation just a definition okay so if i check the syntax now you will observe that abstract methods can only be defined in abstract classes okay so the point here is if i if i make a method as so abstract i have to make this animal class as abstract so this is how you you can just imagine the definition now okay because i made the method as abstract the class automatically has to become abstract that is by that is what the syntax check told me so i am going to define it like this definition abstract check the syntax now now you can see this uh, another important point here you cannot generate instances of abstract class animal so you cannot actually create a uh, implementation of abstract classes why because this method is abstract okay it still doesn't have any implementation so you cannot actually call make a call to this method right because it has no implementation so it it basically doesn't allow you to actually create implementation for this animal class so what i'll do is i'll just um comment it out and so now i have created it as abstract the class has become abstract so that's the definition of an abstract if any of if any one of the method of a class becomes abstract then the class becomes abstract all right 
so but the vice versa is not true suppose if i if i actually um, remove this here okay if i check the syntax it is syntactically correct okay the vice versa was not true why because if the uh, class is abstract it, it 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 is not necessary that you have to have an abstract method all right but this does not serve any purpose in our case so actually you you will actually need to have an abstract method okay so this is important these are important points which you have to actually understand if you go for interviews you can ac actually explain everything about uh, abstract class if you if you go through this my session this one session of mine if you go through this video you can actually answer any of the questions what the interviewer asks you um for about this abstract class all right so i'll get back to this um, abstract method itself so i have this method as abstract so i i don't need to implement this here inside the animal class so where will i implement this now if i check the syntax you see here the redefinition of the method is missing of the or, or the class cat was not defined as abstract you must define the class as abstract okay it's saying because it's an abstract method it becomes necessary it becomes mandatory for me to actually implement this method in my subclass okay it's saying you have to you have to you must implement this make sound method in your subclass which is the cat class here i have to implement this or the other choice for you is to make this classes also abstract okay so that's what it is saying if you do not know if the cat class doesn't know how to implement the make sound method better you make the class cat as abstract okay but i am not going to do that this is what i'm just trying to show you every possibility of an abstract class or the abstract keyword all right so i'm not going to do that now but you can try uh, your like when you are practicing you can actually try everything about the abstract class so what i'll do here is it's i have to actually redefine this method here i'll say make sound make underscore sound redefinition okay so i'm going to redefine this and then i'll say cat implementation now i have to implement this method inside my subclass cat class okay i'll say method make underscore sound end method and i'll say right meow this is the sound which a cat makes i guess so i'm going to do it like this so even now if i try to <coughs> actually uh, create object for my super class it says you cannot generate instances so what is the other way i can actually create object of my subclass all right i can call my sleep method i can call my make sound method okay so you can see z and meow so this is basically the uh, actually um uh, the thing about this abstract class okay so here what we do is an abstract class is a class which has only partial implementation if you see here it is partially implemented okay so one of the method is implemented because i know the functionality i know the implementation part i know what to actually implement for the sleep method F because i know for every animal it it actually sleeps the same way it says Z. okay this is the functionality it's the same functionality across all the subclasses that is going to inherit from my animal class okay but for make sound i'm not sure i'm not sure so i i kept it as abstract okay i kept it as abstract because i do not know the implementation at this point of time when i'm creating the animal class okay so i leave it up to my subclass cat class or dog class whichever is inheriting from my animal class I, i i leave it to them to actually make the implementation by redefining the method which is abstract in my subclass okay and then i create the implementation and then i co create the Uh, object of the subclass you cannot create object of the super class as such but you can create you can create the object of the subclass and then call the methods of your choice you can call also call the super class method the sleep method you can call okay so abstract class what's an abstract it's a class which 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 has only partial implementation 
okay you can have abstract methods you can have concrete methods and you cannot actually generate instances for a abstract class you have to actually create subclasses and the subclasses can be uh, can be uh, you can create objects of the subclasses all right so that is actually a basic overview about this abstract classes here. So if you have any anything, any comments on this, uh, please uh, do not uh, forget to actually comment on my video. And please do not forget to like and subscribe as I always tell you. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day.